What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of a vacuum cleaner that I bought. I have owned this vacuum cleaner in the past and I really like it, so that is why I'm showing it to you in this video. The brand of the vacuum cleaner is a Shark Rotator. Once I unbox this vacuum cleaner, I'm gonna show you why I really like it. So I bought this vacuum cleaner online off of Walmart. It was about $199 plus tax Canadian and it got shipped right to my front door. So let's open it up. So you can see this is what it looks like from the inside and let me just pull it out now. So now that I took it out of the main box, you can see the actual packaging of the vacuum cleaner. So it is called the Sharp Rotator Lift Away Professional. It is an anti-allergen complete seal technology in there and it has multiple ways to use it. You can lift away, you can put it on some rollies or you can use it as the main type of vacuum cleaner that it comes as. So let's open this and see how it looks from the inside. So here are some instruction packages that come with it. The main vacuum hose, the mini brush cleaner, the bottom cleaning element, the dolly, the pet hair remover piece, the main handle, the central canister, the crevice tool, the alternate vacuuming element for hardwood floors and for carpet. It actually has an option here that says carpet or bare floor. And those are the main elements. Now let's put this thing together. Because I've owned this vacuum cleaner before, I'm pretty sure I can put it together myself. So the first part to look at is the main central piece. This is where everything will be put together from. So if you look at this from close up, this is where your hose piece goes, the suction piece, and then your metal piece or the aluminum piece will go up in this section. So this is the metal piece I was talking about. They're calling it the wand. There is a little plastic piece at the bottom here that lines up with the bottom over here. And once it lines up from behind, you just snap it in. That's in now. This here is the hose piece, and the bottom of the hose is gonna go on the bottom of this portion of the vacuum. So if you look closely at this hose, there's little grooves and crevices that line up with the bottom of that portion of the vacuum, so it snaps right in. All you do here is line it up with the half circle portions and snap this in. That's it, this is in now. And then this top portion snaps into the top of the wand. So again, this you just line it, bring it down in, snaps in. Now there's this piece over here at the bottom that looks like it snaps in to the wand and holds it nice and tight to the wand. So it keeps it from flapping around all over the place. So as you can see we're almost done with this. The last piece is this bottom section here. So I'll show it to you from close up. This is your main roller brush area and this thing spins around pick up dirt. Um, there is headlights at the front so you'll see when we turn it on that they light up the floor. And this is your main first base. It's gonna snap on right here. If you look at the bottom of this main section you got a hole here and that's gonna line up right below here and snap on. And as you can see, this first vacuum setup is ready to go. This is option one. So as you can see, it comes with the long electrical cord here. And there's a place to store it on the side. You can just snap this thing up here. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. This portion here snaps up and down. So from here, you can wind up the electrical cord. I'll bring it back so you can see it. When the vacuum cleaner is not in use, you can store it wherever you need to and it holds the electrical wire on the sides. So now I'm going to open the electrical wire back up because we're eventually going to use this. You just snap that down and pull the wire right off and it's ready for use. Snap that back up after. Now a couple of interesting things to keep in mind. This is the canister that you can empty the debris from once it picks up comes undone right from the top. So this is the main canister here. 
can see it has an area behind where you can actually put your hand in here and this button here will unleash it from the bottom so your debris can come out of the bottom this handle helps you open and close it okay you can also open it from the top section so if there's debris stuck at the top turn it upside down take stuff out of the top as well of course this is brand new so there's no debris in it it has a little filter section here that has to be cleaned up from time to time but this is the main canister for the dirt so inside of here is two of the main filters one and two i'll bring them closer so you can see them so this one sits here and this thing actually can come off when you need to clean it right and you can wash this thing off you can wash this thing off with a little bit of like dawn soap or something like that and this is the filter that sits right below it. So that little circular portion down at the bottom there, that's where it all sits. So this goes in first, and then this goes on top. And then of course there's a HEPA filter at the bottom. So whatever additional debris you would normally get coming back into your house, the HEPA filter will get rid of it and make sure all the allergens and dust stay out of here. So you have two things, you have a HEPA filter, and you have a complete seal system which keeps the air clean. So if you have allergies and things like that, this is a really good vacuum for that. This snaps back in and now it's ready for use. So now I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, so this is plugged in ready for use, but before I use it, I'm gonna detach it from the bottom section. There's a button here that says lift away. I'm clicking it right now. And this will allow me to lift this right off of the bottom section. So this way I'm going to bring this closer to you to see. So if you look here, there are some buttons. That's the lift away button and a wand button. And then on the other side is the power button and the brush roll button. So when you want to use the brush roll, you can turn that on. So power button, brush roll, lift away and wand. There's also a section to clip your electrical wire so it doesn't get in the way with the vacuum floor. Okay, now I'm going to demo turning this on. You're going to see the lights turn on and then you're going to hear the sound of the vacuum. So the motor sounds really powerful because I have owned this before. I know it is a very strong suction on this thing. There's also a brush roll button which will only work once I initiate uh, the bottom section. There's a little footprint on the bottom of here which basically means I gotta step on here and snap this back of here a click. That click means now it's ready to vacuum the floor. So now I'll turn the power on and the brush roll button on and you'll hear the sound of both at the same time. Okay, ready? The brush roll button sounds a bit funny here because it's on a hardwood floor, but usually I guess you could use it on a hardwood floor, but probably more useful on the carpet to get in deep in and pick up all the dirt and debris. Okay, so the other thing to know about is the wand button. When you push the wand button, you can actually take the wand section out on its own. So now, if you want to pick things up individually, you can use this wand button for that. Put that back in. Snap this back on. Now, you've got two sections at the back here which can hold two different things. So you have your crevice tool here which you can attach in the back here. And your regular dusting tool here which you can also keep attached to there on the other side. Okay, so those are your pieces that go along with the vacuum cleaner. And then of course these two separate pieces that you keep off on the side for when you want to use it. So for hardwood and carpet you have this option as well. This is like the pet hair removal stuff so you can use it on the on your furniture or on carpets or wherever you got pet hair. This also has a brush underneath to catch the hair of the pets. Another cool feature of this vacuum is the swivel head at the front of the vacuum. So if you need to go left or if you need to go right you can twist vacuum cleaner and it will turn and move in different directions. So that is another cool feature. So now this is one way that you can use it. The other way to use it is to create the lift away like I showed you before. And you can lift it 
it right off. You can take the wand tool out, right? Just to pull the wand out, you can walk around your house and vacuum up different things, right? So you can hold it in your hand, vacuum things that are needed. I'll just give you a demo quickly, turn it on. That's option two, so you can, if you're on staircases or if you're anywhere where you have to lift it up or you have to reach a high spot, you can use it this way. Uh, and this is also very useful, so this is the second way of using it. And the third way is on this dolly down here, which I'll put it on right now, okay? And on this dolly, you can attach the other attachments and use it. So just to show you a close-up of this dolly, it has a spot for the circular portion to go in. You can see the bottom, it has two wheels here and like rotating wheels on the other side. So it makes it easy to pull it around and move it around the room. Okay. Snaps in again, and here you go. So this is how it looks like from one side, and this is from the back side. So now for example, if you want to use this tool over here, you can just plug it in, line it up, Right? And you turn this on and you can walk around the room with this thing. So if you look at the bottom of this attachment, it has the two sections, one's for carpet, one's for hardwood. You can see there's little brushes on the edge, so when you go to hardwood, it actually brings it lower, so it sweeps and catches more stuff. On carpet, it's a little higher up. And there it is. So you got this attachment you can use, and of course your pet hair removal. This you can snap on here as well. So let's turn this on, and you will see that the brush will start spinning on the inside of it. And that spinning brush is really just from the suction power. It's not coming from that brush button. That brush button is just for the other portion where it has it at the bottom of the main vacuum. So one more thing I want to show you is that the top hand actually comes off. There's a button right here on the back portion of this top of the vacuum cleaner wand. When you push it, it releases this top section. So you can actually put attachments right onto this full section. If you need to get something close by, it's really easy. There's another thing right here. If you look right here, you will see there's holes here. So this will increase and decrease the suction power on the vacuum cleaner. So when you close it off fully, it has full suction power. When you open it up, it gives it a lighter suction. So if you're in an area that's kind of delicate or you don't want it to suck too hard, you can actually open this up and it slows down the flow. So I'm gonna demo the dust tool. So this can come right onto here, just like that. Right, and I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna increase and reduce the suction power just so that you can see how it happens. So hopefully that demo shows you that it's a stronger and softer pull uh, depending on where you have this setting. And of course the crevice tool has a little bit of uh, holes in it already to reduce the suction a bit, but you can still play with it and you can adjust it as well, right? vacuum cleaner great value for the money it cleans in so many different ways in so many different styles you can lift it away you can use it on the main vacuum cleaner you can roll it on this special rolling adaption piece and I've always had good service out of my previous sharp rotator so I expect nothing 
but the same on this one as well. So in case you're looking for a good vacuum cleaner, I definitely recommend the Sharp Rotator. It is the best vacuum cleaner I've ever owned and I only have good things to say about it. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Leave any comments you have for me below in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys again next time. Take care, peace out.